guys. Hello. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm doing messy. My hair is a mess. Honestly, I'm home alone right now and I'm like low key terrified because I've been watching this Netflix show called like the house on the hill or something. And there's a lot of really scary stuff that happens in that show. And I don't know if you guys remember when I said I was like, I don't like being spooked. I don't like being scared, but that still stands true. Um, I still don't like being spooked or scared. And I'm spooked and scared right now. So hi. So today's video is going to be kind of fun and fresh and fun. I'm really excited about it. Okay, I also cheated a little bit because I didn't have what I needed to have, but I had like enough that I was like, okay, we're gonna do this. Today, we are gonna be doing a full face of products that I have um, so I do a few anti-hauls on this channel. I think I've done like five or six at this point. I really love doing anti-hauls because I think they're fun. Um, <laughs> they're just a good time. I realized I was like looking through my collection and I was like, man, I've bought in quite a few things that I said in my anti-hauls I wouldn't buy. So I'm going to be honest with you guys and not lie. Um, there's about a few things that I bought. One in particular you guys might be shook by. So we're going to get just get started. I think it'll be fun to like give you guys a mini review a Along with this like be like oh I said I wasn't gonna buy this but now I like it or I shouldn't have bought it because I don't like it for the reasons you know what I mean so I think the ghosts heard me talking about them and they were like oh we're gonna corrupt some of your footage because you're talking about us so um, some of my footage got corrupted here but basically I'm just talking about the Tatcha primer and I didn't want to buy it because it was too expensive and I put it in an anti-haul but then I bought it at the VIB sale and here's why I like it now and it's one of my favorite primers. So that's what you guys are about to see. I got it during the VIB sale because I finally just caved. I've seen so many people talking about it and I was like, you know, if I hate it, I can just return it. I'm going to get it on sale so it's not going to be too, too expensive. Is this not the best primer I've ever used? Some days when I want to have like an actual natural day, I just put on this primer and it smooths out my entire face so amazingly well. It's like absolutely shocking. I'm obsessed with this primer now. I love it so much. It makes my skin look so flawless and good and I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. This was a good one. I think I just anti-hauled it because I thought it was too expensive and $54 is pretty ridiculously expensive for a primer but like this is really good <laughs> like, if you're gonna spend money on something i would highly recommend spending it on like foundations and primers this primer is fantastic i don't know what they put in this this is technically this is where i cheated a little this is technically not something i anti-hauled but it's also not something i particularly was like oh my god i want this i got this through octoly this is the pure foundation stick in the shade golden light and it looks like this so i i put this in here number one because i wanted to try it because <laughs> i haven't tried it yet number two i put this in here because i've been skeptical of foundation sticks lately ever since i got my makeup revolution one i don't really see how any other one could be as good as my makeup revolution one um but this one looks kind of cool it's got really cool packaging it's got like this like octagon kind of reminds me of like fenty beauty a little bit we're just gonna pop this sucker on so i'm cheating with this one i know but i really am picky about foundation so i don't typically just buy them even if i don't like them like i do with other things I don't know if I love it. I mean, it, I haven't blended it out yet, but it feels very like crusty <laughs> when you put it on. It's definitely medium coverage, which you guys know I've been a lot more into medium coverage looks lately. It definitely sits on the skin really nice, but I don't know if that's the foundation or if that's the primer. I'm gonna have to do an update on this one, but this is why sometimes getting things in Octoly is a little dicey. So you never know if you're gonna actually like it or not. <laughs> and it's a very like set things. Okay, the next thing, Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I didn't necessarily anti-haul this, but I kind of did. I basically said that I was going to wait to finish, like, another concealer before I bought this one because I felt like this was really expensive and I didn't feel like I needed a concealer. That was about two weeks ago, and then I went out and bought it. Um, <laughs> I got it because I had a 20% off coupon at Ulta, and it was for prestige brands as well. And I, because I've been wanting this so bad, I was like, you know what, Hannah? It's when I got a couple other things in this little video as well. And when I got my sultry palette, I was like, you know what? Cheat yourself. So I bought this for myself. I just hit 10K, so I was in a really treat yourself mood. Um, honestly, guys, I freaking love this concealer. I will say, very, very, very full coverage. If you don't like full coverage, 
I don't think this is a good one for you. I think you're probably gonna hate it. What I have been using it for is like everyday natural type of days. So what I use it for is like if I don't wear foundation, I just use this and then it gives me a really nice amount of coverage. I do use it with other full coverage foundations for like a really full coverage look. I don't think this has beat out my Hello Fab Avocado Concealer that I love so much because that's like honestly been my favorite for a few months now. This has definitely not beaten that out, but this is just like a different thing. I feel like that avocado concealer is really good because it's a more medium-ish coverage. It's not as like crazy. This is definitely a cakier concealer, which I think can make it difficult for people who, I mean, I have pretty problematic under eyes and mine are doing okay with this, but I think if you have like really creasy under eye or if you have like really dry under eyes, I don't think this would look great. But on my skin, which is pretty normal, it works pretty well. I'm actually really happy I picked this up. I've had a lot of success with this. I didn't have any powders particularly that I anti-held, so I'm gonna just zoom through this part and then we'll get to everything else, which I do have something for. Okay, so I realized I didn't have any brow products, so I just threw on some brows and they're thick and caterpillary today and that's just what we're working with, okay? Again, not necessarily something I anti-held, but something I would not buy had it not been sent to me, and I've made that very clear, um, is this Kevin Aquan sculpting powder. It's not that I don't like this sculpting powder, because I actually like it, like, a lot. It's a great sculpting powder. Um, it's so tiny, though. It's the size of an eyeshadow, which really stresses me out. I think somebody could go through this in, like, a couple weeks if they only had this as their... Is there, is there, is there. Did you guys see that? I think somebody could go through this in like a couple of weeks. If I had known what I know now about this product, I would anti-haul it. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna, I anti-hauled but still bought, and the reason it's in the mini is because I wasn't gonna get the Hula bronzer. I don't think I ever talked about this, but I just kind of said in my mind, like I'm not getting this Hula bronzer because so many influencers were talking about it and they were like, oh my God, Hula bronzer is like the best thing in the world. And it was right when I started realizing that influencers were going on brand trips and then suddenly they were like obsessed with the brand's products. And I thought that was kind of sus. I remember all of these in influencers went to like Nectar Island or it was some like really bougie private island. They went with Benefit and they all came back and suddenly they were all in like campaigns with Benefit. They loved every single product Benefit put out, which by the way, some of those products have now been in like least favorite videos now that they're being a little bit more honest. But I remember every single influencer was talking about Benefit and I was like, I'm not going to get that hula bronzer because I feel like influencers are just talking about it because they're going on trips. But then I tried it and I actually love it. It's a really cute little bronzer. I think I eventually got it because like Manny and Wake kept talking about it. And I'm the type of person, if somebody like keeps talking about something, I'm probably going to get it. But yeah. The next thing we have is the Bomb Girls Getaway Trio. That's what it looks like. Oh, this is another one I didn't actively anti-haul, but I bought this not wanting it. Like, I don't know why I bought this. I think I just wanted to buy something. Have you, has that ever happened to anyone else or am I just crazy? Um, first of all, the bronzer is way too dark for me. Um, blushes are pretty, but I just don't really grab for this. And I bought it knowing I probably wasn't going to use it a ton. I just wanted to buy something. I'm not proud of that. Um, like this is not a fact I'm proud of. Like that's a pretty blush. Because you know how they sell these in Kohl's? They sell the bomb in Kohl's. If you didn't know that, they do. Um, I was driving home for my first day of school last semester and I was like, I deserve something. Like, I deserve some makeup. But I didn't really want to go to Sephora for some reason. So I went to Kohl's and I just looked around their makeup and uh, saw this and it was like $25. And I was like, like I won't use this, but like, I'm going to get it anyway because there's nothing else here I want. I didn't want to go to a different store. So now I own this and I never use it. So don't buy things you're not interested in. <laughs> moral of this story is like if you look at it and you're like man I don't think I'm gonna use that like every day don't buy it this is the reason I made this video is this next palette and I'm ashamed I don't really want to talk about it but I felt like I had to be honest with you guys I'm so sorry you guys I feel like I let everyone down by getting this because I slammed this so hard in my recent anti-haul. So <laughs> I feel like I have to explain myself with this one. So I went into Ulta and I had that 20% off coupon and uh, this was the only one left in stock at my Ulta. And for some reason, because a few of you guys had commented on my anti-haul video and you guys were like, no, like this palette is like the best one Too Faced has ever put out. Like it's so good. 
It's amazing. And so I went over to the Too Faced section and I swatched it. The reason I was at that Ulta was because I needed to get my sister a birthday present. And so I was like, oh, I'll just get this for my sister because she, I was gonna get her the Naked Cherry, but they didn't have it in store yet because my sister loves the Naked palettes. I picked this out for her and I was gonna get it. And I, then I called my mom and I was like, do you think Melanie will like this? And I'd already bought it. And my mom was like, well, your sister watches your videos and she just saw you trashing this palette. So I don't know if she's gonna like it because you said you hated it. And I was like, ooh, you're right about that. I did do that. I'm gonna go into the shade Gumdrop, the pinky shade. I was like, yikes. So then I was like thinking about it and I also brought it home and I was like looking at it. And you know when you look at a palette and you're just like, I want you. I wanted this as the more I was looking at it. And I was like, man, I have all of these colors and they're not the most interesting, but like, I want this. I was like, you know what? I'll ex expedite ship my sister the naked, the naked cherry palette and then I'll keep this one for myself. Like that'll be really fun and fresh. And then like, I'll get to keep this. And then I was like, I can do, even do a video called full face of products I anti hold or doing it right now. I was like, and I can like show a review of it and like talk about it and everything. So I texted my mom and I was like, just ordered Mal the Naked Cherry palette. Um, so expect that at your house cause she was gonna be at my mom's house. So I was like, expect that at your house, hopefully before she, like it's her birthday. So that way she can have it on her birthday. And my mom was like, you're joking, right? And I was like, no, what's up? And she had actually, this story makes sense, I promise. She had actually already ordered my sister the Naked Cherry palette <laughs> when I got her this one. Um, she didn't realize I was gonna change my mind, neither did I. My mom had already bought it. So my mom was like, here's the tea. She was like, why don't you keep your palette, this gingerbread one? Cause my mom, my mom is like the nicest person on the planet to be perfectly honest with you guys. Like she's the kindest soul ever. She, most of, a lot of my makeup in the get when I didn't have any money, <laughs> when I had like no money and I wanted to like review products for you guys on this channel, like a lot of it came from my mom and she like really helped me out when I was first starting out. She would like buy me palettes that she knew were popular so that way I could like review them. She's literally the most supportive best person ever. She was like, why don't you keep the gingerbread palette? And she was like, and since we have two naked, cause I was like, I'll just return the naked cherry. And she was like, no, keep it. And then you can review it. So there's going to be a tutorial Tuesday on the naked cherry next week. Um, cause now I have two new palettes when I didn't really need or want any of them. After that long story, <laughs> I like this palette. I don't hate it. It's a cute palette. The shadows are pretty solid. They're, they're two faced shadows, you know, like it's not the craziest, best, most groundbreaking formula of all time, but it's not bad. I, I do like it. This one shade spiked eggnog is like probably my favorite shade in the whole thing it's just really nice it's a really beautiful shimmer some of their shimmer shades they were I, I do like a Too Faced shimmer like even in my chocolate bar and peach palette I really really adore Too Faced like I do think their shimmer formula is pretty good I don't know if I would necessarily buy this palette like over again like if I lost all of my makeup tomorrow this would not be number one on my list to rebuy but it is cute I do know that I will get use out of it because I do like the color story yeah like this is a cute little pink and purple look and I do like that you can create a lot of different looks like I've done a lot of red tone stuff and I've done a lot of like I played with this green the other day and that was kind of fun like it does have some cute little looks to it I felt really guilty though <laughs> I just felt like I let you guys down, you know? Like, I felt like you guys were, like, so behind me on this, and now I'm like... I, I have it now. I definitely put an anti haul on this. <laughs> like, 100% I hardcore anti haul this, because I was like, I just don't think they're going to be shades that I can wear. I was wrong. This is really nice for pale skin. You wouldn't think so. Like, you would definitely think this would be only for, like, medium to deep. I think this looks beautiful on darker skin. I'm going to go into the shade Regal. It does get really messy. I don't know. This formula is definitely a weird one. It's not the typical Anastasia formula in the sense that it's a lot more chunky than that. I know it stinks because I think some people don't really like a chunky highlighter. I don't mind it, especially when I'm filming. Gorgeous. The shade Regal. Oh, this is so... I'm like re-falling in love with it. This is so pretty. I am going to dip into Unicorn as well. Oh, yeah. Unicorn was a good call. I'm going to put that more to the top. I've been going bananas with highlight lately. I want it everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why. I just want to be glowy. Okay, the final thing 
probably going to get some hate comments for this one, but I pretty much anti hauled the whole Jeffree Star brand because um, of my personal beliefs. But I have to say that his lipstick formula is probably out of my collection. The two I have are my favorites. Um, I actually love these lipstick formulas. I love the applicator and I also love just the formula. It's, it, it is amazing. Like I get why people love his makeup because the formula of this is really good. I just anti-hold the brand at this point. This is in the shade Unicorn Blood, I believe. Designer Blood. Um, they are beautiful. I just don't support the brand, but they are beautiful. I have to say, I adore this lipstick shade. Like, I think it's beautiful. If you guys know any brands that are similar to that formula, let me know because I would buy them because like, I love this. I just can't buy it anymore. Do I have any setting sprays I anti-hold? I don't think I do. I don't really own many setting sprays. I'll just use my ColourPop one. I've been loving this lately. Little fun and fresh look. Um, yeah, this is stuff I anti hauled and stuff maybe I didn't really want, but I got for myself anyway. I love you guys so much. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. I'm honestly just so happy you're watching me. Thank you for being here. Everything I'm wearing on my face, everything like my merch, my Patreon, um, my Instagram, my Twitter, all of that stuff will be linked down below and you guys can go check it out. And yeah, I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!